How's it going guys, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's build, I bought this cheap arc reactor kit from AliExpress, so let's see if it's any good. First off, it comes in a small black box full of Ziploc bags with all the parts separated. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at what you'll need to assemble. Some super glue will definitely be required. Some of these nail clippers, these are used a lot in kit building to trim injection molded gates and that's exactly what I'll be using them for, and also some small pliers. So interestingly enough, I have made some of these kits before, a few years ago now, but from the looks of it, there are a few differences. First of all, it was mostly laser cut acrylic, there wasn't any injection molded parts, and I had to wrap the copper by hand, but it seems in these newer kits, it's already done for you. So for the first steps, it's pretty easy, just taking the film off the acrylic, then using the included screws to hold the LED to the base. The heatsink is quite sharp, so I will use a deburring tool to quickly take down the edges. After that, I'll be assembling the top section. Now you will need super glue to assemble, as most of the parts have a loose fit. You will need to use the nail clippers to cut the small sharp burrs left from the laser cutting process. The quality of the laser cutting doesn't seem to be too bad, there was only one part that I had an issue with. The assembly of the bottom cage seems to be pretty straightforward, one long, one short, until you've done the whole part. And then a bit of glue to hold them all in place permanently. Then the main assembly fits inside the cage. Then there is a last part of acrylic to hold the cage assembly straight.
The assembly for the top ring is interesting. The clear parts slot together instead of being a single ring, and then each section has three molded parts, and then a wound copper piece goes over the top. So this will probably take a while as I am gluing as I go along, but I do suggest doing a test fit, as I did get one of the copper rings around the wrong way. Now using the pliers, I bend a 90 degree angle in the metal parts. So it seems that there are only two screws to hold the top section together. The screws apply pressure to the outer ring which holds it all in place, but I will be adding some glue to the underside just to be sure. Now for the last part, I tried to use the wires as they intended, but they kept snapping and I really didn't like the look, so I ended up soldering the outer ring by hand. This did take a long time and I had to file down the enamel to get the solder to stick to the copper. It does look a little bit messy, but I don't mind as it was supposed to be made in a cave with a box of scraps. So that's basically the reactor finished. So what are my thoughts on this kit? Well for a price tag of around about 25 USD, it's pretty good value for money. The instructions are straightforward and it's pretty spot on in terms of accuracy and will make a great little project for anyone with any amount of skill and an hour or two of spare time. I'll leave a link to where I got my kit so those who want to pick one up can make their own. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one. I see you've made it to the end. Why don't you subscribe and check out some of our other builds? Go on, what are you waiting for?